So today we're going to talk about solving rational equations. Um, what is a rational equation? Well, the word rational in math actually means a fraction. So a rational equation is just an equation with a fraction in it. So one example would be something like 7 thirds times x equals 1 ninth. So we have an equation that has some fractions in it. We would call this a rational equation. Um, and so how do we solve these? We can use the same ideas that we use for solving equations. We can multiply on both sides by whatever we want. We can also add and subtract on both sides by whatever we want. Um, <clears throat> we can simplify either side of the equation. Um, as an express, thinking of it as an expression if we needed to, if that makes the problem easier. So all of those things that we were doing um, when we were solving linear equations or the equations we were solving in the previous section, we can still do. We just have fractions in there now. So how do we deal with these fractions? Well, the goal is still the same. I still want to get 1x on one side and a number on the other side. And by making legal moves, Right, multiplying on both sides by the same thing, or dividing on both sides by the same, or adding or subtracting, right? So those are all the moves that we can use, <coughs> or the things we can do um, to this equation to try to get 1x on both sides. So I've got this 7 thirds x equals 1 ninth, and I want to get this x to be just 1x. Well, what can I multiply or divide 7 thirds by to get just 1x. Well, there's a sneaky trick. If I multiply by 3 on the top, what happens to my 3's here when I simplify, when I do this multiplication and simplify? Well, 3 over 3 is 1. They, sometimes we call it cancel each other out. Um, but they really just make a 1. Same thing with the 7's if we put a 7 in the denominator. So what did we really do? We multiplied by something the fancy name for this is called the reciprocal of 7 thirds, right? We, we flipped it. We took what was in the bottom of the fraction, put it in the top, and what was in the top of the fraction and put it in the bottom. And this cancels everything out. Sometimes you'll see people do this, right? Um, and so we're just left with 1x equals, but I multiply by 3 7 on this side. I have to make sure to keep my equation in balance I have to multiply by the same thing on the other side. So I have 1 ninth times 3 7 Again, we can do some simplifying of our fractions here. Right? So I get 1 on the top, 1 times 1, and 3 times 7 gives me 21. So I get 1x, or you could just think of it as x, right? Because 1 times any number is just itself. So x is 1 over 21. And then, just like uh, regular equations, we can check our answer by plugging the 1 over 21 right back into our original equation, which was 7 thirds times x. So our x, we're going to substitute in 1 over 21 to, so we can check it. And we should get that that's equal to 1 ninth. And when we check it, right, we simplify this fraction here, do the multiplication and simplify, we get 1 over Excuse me, uh, that should be 3. 1 over 9, sorry, that should be 3, equals 1 over 9, which is a true statement. So we are done.